Hey guys, welcome back into the Stochastic YouTube channel. My name is Jeff Ulrich, and in this video, we're going to be talking a little bit of No House Advantage NBA action for December 30th. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the Pick'em Contest on No House Advantage. If you're new to the site, a couple different ways to play there. There's the Pick'em Contest. It's more of a DFS style offering. We're taking seven to 10 props. We're putting them in, the, in a lineup. We're assigning different values to that those props. And we're putting them in a big contest. We're putting our lineup in a big contest to play against other players four big prizes and on this slate Noel's Advantage has a 15k guaranteed 5k to first NBA contest up uh, again lots of big money being given up here by by Noel's Advantage being put up I should say uh, on each slate and there's been overlay on a lot of these sl slates guys so a good time to check out Noel's Advantage and if you are new to the site you can use promo code stochastic for a hundred dollar free match deposit bonus again promo code stochastic gets you that free one hundred dollar match deposit bonus right off the top great way to try out the site great way to build your bankroll Definitely recommend checking it out right away as well. Never know how long these bonus offers gonna last. So there's also the versus the house contest on No House Advantage. That's where you're just creating your own parlay style multiplier ticket with different payouts. And uh, we have videos for that up on the Odd Shopper YouTube channel as well. Also free projections for No House Advantage up on stochastic.com. You can check those out after you're done watching this video. Very, very useful tool. Definitely recommend checking that out. Lots of great stuff up on Stochastic as well. Um, you know, if you become a member there, but free projections for No House Advantage up on Stochastic. So do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to the Stochastic YouTube channel. If you have not done that already, let's dive into these props for this Thursday. December 30th, a couple days left in 2022. I'm excited for 2023. You should be too. Let's start with James Harden over 20.5 points today. Uh, you know, I, James Harden's been pretty good at late. I mean, th this prop is pretty low. We do have this projected as a decent over as well. And, you know, with Harden too, I don't think that this prop is going to be one that a lot of people look at in the contest necessarily. But um, again, you look at the 76ers, they're favored. Um, it's a small, you know, small favorite scenario, but they are projected for 150, over 115 points. James Harden, uh, been very good of late. Again, just playing massive minutes, which we love. Uh, and he's gone, you know, 20 points or more in each of his last, uh, three games here. So been very good in his last couple games, shooting the ball well, really good at the free throw line. I think he probably gets there tonight. I think that, uh, again, you know, just with the, looking at the lineup as well, tougher matchup, obviously inside for, for Embiid. P.J. Tucker, I think uh, Harden probably handles the ball a lot, creates a few more of his own shots tonight. I think he probably gets there for us. Good chance that he sees a lot of free throw attempts as well, again, which he's been very good at, converting a late. James Harden, over 20.5 points. We got this projected as uh, a fairly solid over as well on Stochastic, so going to roll with the projections there as well. And, you know, we're going to stay with this game for our second pick here. We're going to go Zion Williamson. We're actually... This is Zion's in a really interesting spot tonight in terms of the contest because he does have a very puny point total. It's 22.5, but I'm going to recommend you actually fade Zion in the rebound category. 8.5 rebounds for Zion Williamson. Let's go under that. He has not gone over this in three straight games. And even when he has been going over, I mean, it's been like by one, one rebound here. He's been getting like nine or 10 rebounds. So um, this is a good fade spot for Zion. And I think, again, with the contest, you got to think a little bit of DFS strategy. Everyone in the field is going to see that Zion point prop and say, I got to smash the over. You can still go over that, but if you take the under on the rebounds, that's going to be a much lesser owned prop for the contest. It's a big total for Zion, 8.5 rebounds. Let's go under that. Again, another solid projected play here on stochastic.com where we have free projections uh, for Norris Advantage. So Zion, again, it's a tougher matchup for him tonight as well. Would I be shocked if he went under his point total against uh, Embiid and, and Tucker in the middle there? No, I wouldn't. Uh, but at the same time, the, the, the prop to fade, I think, is that rebounding prop. I think it, a lot of the field is going to be going over on the point prop. So uh, if you do fade the rebound prop, like like going under there. And I think you'll get a much lesser on prop. So a little bit of strategy there for uh, Zion Williamson tonight. He's in an interesting spot. Let's switch over to uh, the Atlanta Hawk game. And let's talk about DeJounte Murray here. 18.5 points. Now, again, the, with the contest, we often get like a lot of different uh, style of props. Some props will be a lot bigger than we see around the industry. Some props will be a lot smaller. DeJounte Murray with an 18.5 prop here. This one's a pretty much a smash over here. I don't think he'll be as popular as like, say, the Zion prop. But um, I do like the over here for, for DeJounte Murray. Obviously has the LA Lakers in town tonight. Big implied team total for the Atlanta Hawks at 124. One of the biggest we've seen all year. 
Um, this is going to be a faster paced game. Murray should get there. He's been a little bit slow since coming back from injury, but he's playing like 37 minutes a night here on average. Um, did Has scored 24 or more points now in two of his last three games. So I don't think this will be a spot where we need to worry too much about Murray getting us there. 18.5 points. Um, it, again, this one will probably be heavily owned as well, but you got to take a couple of these easy props up here on Noah's advantage for the contest. And I think this is one of them. The Jonte Murray kind of be shocked if he went under this. Um, again, uh, the, the, the Hawks are just uh, slated to score a ton of points here. So we can talk all we want about matchups, but this really just comes down to we're going to be in a fast paced game. We got the Jonte Murray with a low point total, and we're going to go over there. Again, another prop um, that's projected as, as one of our strongest overs. So um, let's end here with Lori Markinen. And let's go to another soft point prop and uh, and let's take advantage of it. Markinen has been really, really good of late um, playing the uh, Sacramento Kings. Again, this is slated to be a really high scoring game. 119 team total, uh, implied team total for the Utah Jazz tonight. Markkanen's only got a 20.5 point prop up. He has gone well over this in five straight games, playing big minutes. He's shooting well. He's shooting the ball a lot. He's taken a ton of three pointers. I, I, I'd be pretty shocked if against the Sacramento Kings, this this is where Markkanen kind of put up a stinker. Kings allow a lot of shots. Um, Kings uh, allow a lot of points still. Um, you know, they're, they're a much better team than they have been. But again, marking in uh, 20.5 points with the way he's been playing uh, against the team in the Kings who allow the, the seventh most, po most points against in the league. Yeah, we're going to take Markinen over here. Not a lot of analysis needed. This is just a low prop. It'll probably be, you know, fairly popular. I don't think it'll be as popular as, say, like the Zion Williamson prop, though. And again, want to point out some of these softer props. You know, you can mix and match uh, with more contrarian options as you go. But you want to take advantage of at least a couple. Get what, get what you call those free squares. Nothing's free. Nothing's a lock, obviously, but uh, 20.5 points on Laurie Markkinen tonight to the over. That sounds like a pretty good deal. So we're definitely going to take that. That's going to be our final prop. Do a quick uh, recap here for you guys. James Harden over 20.5 points. Zion Williamson under 8.5 rebounds. Again, like that as a contrarian option versus playing his point total. We're going to take uh, DeJounte Murray over 18.5 points. And then we're going to take Laurie Markkinen over 20.5 points as well. Markkinen is interesting. If you really want to double dip on Markkinen too, he's been rebounding like crazy as well. He's got a 9.5 rebound prop up. So it's a pretty big prop, but it'll probably be lower owned in that contest. All right, that's going to do it for today, guys. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the Stochastic YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. And remember, promo code Stochastic gets you $100 free match deposit bonus up on No House Advantage if you're new to this site. So make sure you check that out as well. Free projections for No House Advantage up on stochastic.com. Most important thing, have yourselves a great Thursday of NBA action. My name is Jeff Ulrich. We'll talk to you again soon.